I have something pretty cool to show you. Our good friends at Jay's Wares has sent us a bunch of those Terraria toys that you've seen on the uh, Terraria.org. They've sent us a bunch of toys to check out. So I'm going to be going through them with you guys. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. I'm going to be uploading this to YouTube after the uh, stream as well. So if you want to take a, a bit more look at a, uh, a certain toy, you, you can do it there as well. So we're going to be taking a look at each and every Terraria toy. How cool is this? I'm extremely excited to show you guys this. Oh my god. When they announced the toys, I was extremely excited to uh, to get them, and I was kind of disappointed that they didn't ship and stuff like that. I was kind of sad, but they've been they've been listening to the community. They've put a lot of the toys on Amazon. They've done a bunch of stuff, so I'm really really grateful that they're 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 moving from just toy stores to like Amazon to to shipping out more to to the general public and me included. So so you may. I've got a I've got a big box here just for you guys. So we're gonna go on an adventure. Alright. Bubble wrap. Arguably the, the best piece of any any delivery. But not this delivery. This delivery is something's different. So yeah. Alrighty. Alright. Let me just do something just before. I show you the first toy, all right? Let me just throw something up real quick. All right, sir. We're gonna have some background music, just to make it a, a bit more calming, a bit more relaxing. And we're going, we're gonna go for a review. So we're gonna give our opinion and stuff of each object that we bring out. Get some some music out for us. All righty, so. First, we've got the Eye Cthulhu with in-game sounds. All right, the in-game sounds are pretty good. You know the um, the Terraria like raw, the boss raw sound that's for like every single boss. That's one of the sounds. The other sound is the um, the boss music, boss one, where it's like do 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 do. You know that one? So this is pretty good. It's pretty damn big too. As in, it's bigger than my head. Big. <laughs> so, I wish I could put it on as a mask, kind of like the item in game. Um, but that's gonna have to be a dream. I kind of want to take it out and show you guys. Um, I really kind of want to do that. Do I have any scissors? Not on me. Because I don't carry scissors around, unfortunately. But, we're gonna dismantle this box by force. It's a nice box though, but I, we're gonna have to get it out, I think. You guys can listen to the sounds when I get it out. Is it tied down by something? I believe it is. There we go. It's just got a couple of those pins in. There we go. So let's see what it looks like outside the box. See, it's got the old, the old back to it. So the second form of Cthulhu. All right, shall we give it a listen? Did you guys hear that? And then we're gonna listen to the the second bit. This is the music. The music's really hard to hear. You have to be re in like a dead silent room. Um, some of it is a bit distorted and hard to hear, but the uh, the second part of it is really good. For example, I'll, I'll turn off the music just so you guys can hear it. But you can hear the, the kind of the breakdown section where it's like do 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 like the iconic part of the sound, which I think is probably one of the most important parts. See what I mean? It, it's a bit distorted, but when it gets to that iconic part, it's completely understandable. And that's the roar again if you didn't hear it last time. Hopefully you guys can hear that. 
All right, so that is the Aya Cthulhu, the large plushie. This is like, I don't know, I don't know how much this one is. Probably like 30 quid or something. Don't know how much it is in dollars. Um, but that that is by far my favorite. That's why I wanted to do it far. That one's my favorite out of everything. Um, okay, so next up, next up, guys, we've got the this guy. This guy. We all know this guy, Skeletron. Oh, it's Skeletron Prime. I didn't even... I guess so. I guess he's got the, the robot eyes up to him. I thought it was just normal Skeletron, but I guess he does have that, that, um, oh, there he is. Yeah, there he is. With his, I didn't actually realize he had glowing eyes. That's cool. All right, let's get this guy out then. Pretty cool one. He's, he's decent. He does something special as well, like how the eye has its old sounds to it. This guy has his own little gimmick as well. He actually lights up. And he doesn't make any sounds, which is fine, because Cthulhu is the one with the iconic raw sound, so that's perfectly fine. So, raw! There you go. This is this. This one's his gimmick. He he, his l eyes lighten up, and he goes crazy at you. Raw! Just like that. Perfect. Doesn't get any better than that. So this is bigger than my head once again. If, for scale, you can have my head for scale, guys. I've got a pretty big head, and this. This just makes it. Come here, you little bugger. This is this is just for scale, so pretty big. Skeleton Prime, pretty cool, right, guys? Fantastic item, and for scale, um, side by side, they are just as big as each other. These are the big plushies. There's some smaller plushies coming up in just a moment, but yeah, these ones are fantastic. Absolutely love them. This, I don't know where the button is to turn this on, but you just kind of hit him in the top of the head. But yeah, pretty good stuff, guys. Moving on. We've got some smaller plushies next. I don't actually have every single plushie that, that they're going to be selling just yet. Um, my favorite isn't here. My favorite isn't here, but that's fine. They give, they've sent me three other plushies, which is, cra uh, which is great. Right, I'll put the music back on. We'll have the nighttime music. Um, my favorite plushie isn't here. The one, but I'll show you the ones we do have. We've got the small skeleton head. This is just Skeletron, regular Skeletron, not Skeletron Prime. Skeletron Prime's the beast. And then we've got the uh, the good old, just the the eye. Oh, it's the eye of Cthulhu, really? I I thought it was a servant eye, but maybe it's the the representation of the, the the first phase before he turns into this badass mofo. Um, but yeah, maybe it's just a smaller version. I would have called it a servant of Cthulhu, but maybe calling it that. I don't know. I don't know. It's pretty pretty good though. Kind of fits. I like it. Cute. And last but not least, in the uh, the small plushies is boop, is the bunny, the Terraria bunny. The one we didn't get out of these small ones is the Toxic Sludge. And you guys know I love the Toxic Sludge so much. Uh, whenever you see him, the golden rule of Terraria is you don't kill Toxic Sludge. But he is cute as well. But we don't have him just yet. Maybe we'll get him in the future. See if he comes on Amazon or something. I'm not sure. Um, also, if you guys are interested in buying these, there's an I think that there's an Amazon link down below. You might be able to find it down there. Um, if, if you're watching this on YouTube, it'll probably be down there as well. Um, but yeah, these small plushies are pretty fantastic. I think they're about £10 or something, so they're not too dear. 10 15 I'm not sure. But I would pay that much. I mean, crazy stuff. I love these things so much. I love the bunny as well. Just like how adorable it looks. Like seriously, the bunny is one of my favorites as well. All right. A lot of people have issues with this la uh, with this next item. I've got some other stuff to show you as well at the end. Um, but I think it's it's pretty good. And that is I've got more bubble wrap, more more bubble wrap. This is the Knight's Edge. And you may think, what? What is that? I think this would look fantastic on my wall. I'm not even kidding. I'm the, like the biggest Terraria collector here. I've got the calendar, I've got the, the poster, I've got t-shirts. I, I, I feel like putting this like on my wall, like somewhere along here. Like, 
I think in between my my two posters, I think it would look good somewhere like that. Yeah, it, it does like, look a bit short and, and whatnot, but I, it's kind of... I think it's made that way purposely because it's light. Like if, 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 if a child was to have this, for example, they could very easily just pick it up. I, I'm a grown man. I can pick this up very easily. I'm not the, I'm not the strongest guy in the world. I can like, I can juggle this thing if I could juggle. But yeah, this is for a child. They could throw this around. They could stab someone. They could rob a store with this thing. Like it's pretty damn good. I have to admit. It's light, it's perfectly fine, and it's great. I like, I, a lot of people have issues with this, but I think this is, this is okay. Given that it's for a child, I, I, like, I assume, right? It's for a toy store, right? I wouldn't per personally buy this unless I wanted to have it, like, hang up on my mantelpiece. I'm not going to run around and fight people with this, am I? Um, as a, as a child, they, they probably would, and this would appear bigger to a child than it does to us. <laughs> So I think for this as a as a child's item or something you just wanna stick up on the wall with a bit of blue tack, this is light enough to, to literally put blue tack on each side of this and to stick it on the wall. I could do that like right now. And after this little segment, I probably will do that. So expect to see this on my wall somewhere. Maybe over there actually. I think it would look good in front. Right there or something, possibly. So that's that. Okay, last, last few items, guys. Some of it got damaged in the uh, the post a little bit, unfortunately, but that's fine. Uh, we've got the uh, the action figures. The action figures. Can I turn off the light so it's not too too bright? The action figures. I'm not the biggest fan of the, the like the animated series. I watch it and stuff. It's it's so it's cool. It's nifty. Um, but these this is what these are all based off the uh, the animation series and they're, and they're pretty cool. They've got all the iconic stuff from Terraria. They've got like a even the box is pretty neat. Even though my box is all screwed up and stuff, it's got the same kind of box where it's got the uh, the Terraria around it and stuff. It's got the pick. It's got his iconic items as well. It's got a pickaxe, it's got a trident, it's got a short sword, it's got an anvil, the basic stuff a Terraria player would have, and it's also got, I've also got a couple of other action figures as well, for example I've got the Goblin Tinkerer, and this is based off the animation series as well as you can see, but he's got iconic Terraria items once again, he's got the the banner standard, the one that calls in the uh, the goblins in the first place to unlock this character. He's got the goblin uh, workshop, workbench kind of thing, which um, you combine all your items and stuff. That's the main reason you want this guy, to be honest. He's got the grappling hook. He's got the just basic tools to make him all like, oh, I'm so smart and, and all that rubbish. So, what we got next is what the witch doctor as well. He's got the cauldron. He's got the, the spooky helmet on. He's got the Tiki Totem, which is one of the reasons you want this guy is in in-game is because to get the Tiki Totem. And you've got the Blowpipe as well. And what else is this? This is a, a staff of sorts. I think it's the uh, that staff there. there you go. He's got a Blowpipe and stuff. So I, 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 I'm a big fan of the plushies, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe if you were parent to buy these for Christmas for your children or something, maybe they'd like the action figures or something. I'm not 100% sure on the action figures, I'm not too into them myself, but this plushie with its crazy music, not too bad at all. And Skeletron with his crazy eyes, not too bad either. Cthulhu's still going. You can still hear it. <laughs> but yeah, fantastic stuff. I, 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 I really like this stuff. I really do. And yeah, I'll be throwing this up on my YouTube's later. So if those of you at the stream want to want to have another look at some of these, uh, some of these crazy stuff, you can have a look. Have another listen to him. Roar. The, t the typical boss sound. Cool stuff. 
You can hear it now. This is the same music he's playing. Do 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 do. The exact same music that this guy was just playing. So yeah, fantastic stuff. I'm probably gonna throw some of this up on my wall right here. Probably action figures and some of the uh, Knight's Edge kind of things. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed watching this uh, kind of like preview of some of the toys that they're being released right now in 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 stores around the uh, around the country America and the UK and they're finally putting some of it on Amazon and stuff which is really really great I'm really grateful that they're doing that but yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys later bye